Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Nintendo Switch related video for you. This is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System controller. So, SNES Online is out, and so Nintendo decided to release a controller to play those games. Um, so quick little backstory, Nintendo Online members had the NES Online app that was a free download, and still do rather, and so Nintendo decided to make NES controllers for the Switch. Um, so that if you want to play those old games, you kind of have the old classic feel of the system, or of the controllers with the system. Now these were like Joy-Cons, where they attach to the side of the system to charge. It's kind of awkward, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Then, Nintendo released the Super Nintendo Online, SNES Online app, um, for some Super Nintendo games. And so here is a Super Nintendo controller. Now, this is also exclusive to Nintendo Switch Online members in order to be able to purchase it. The differences are though, instead of a package with two controllers, uh, you get a cheaper package of one controller so that you can decide if you want one or two. Um, also, they no longer connect to the side of the Switch with like Joy-Cons. This acts more like a Pro Controller and charges via USB-C actually. So that's another difference. Um, and yeah, so um, the other part of this is as of the recording of this video, this thing is sold out. It's been sold out for a while. I'm late. I got this when it first came out uh, and I'm late to opening it up, but hopefully they'll stock more soon. So keep an eye out on the Nintendo uh, site in case you are interested. Uh, this is different than the controller that comes with the Super Nintendo Classic because that uses like the Wii remote connector, basically. Uh, so we'll do a little comparison and stuff, we'll see. I actually never really grew up on the NES or, or SNES. The N64 was my first Nintendo system, so I don't really have a good feel or, or, know, or knowledge, I guess, of how the original controller feels. So I can't really tell you that, but you know, we'll try it out in a game and see how it feels. So uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's do a little unboxing here. So this is the packaging. Um, the back shows you how you can basically uh, connect it via USB charging cable or plug it in with a USB-C adapter. Um, and uh, there it is. So let's let's open this thing up. All right. So first of all, this does come with the USB-C to USB uh, A connector. So this will connect to the dock uh, if you need to charge the controller or can connect to like any other power adapter that you have, whereas the USB C end goes into the controller, which is right here. There it is. There's really not too much to say. It's a Super Nintendo controller, and there's your, you know, the, the extra pieces right there. So, um, first impression is, I mean, the buttons at least seem similar to the, uh, the classic version, which again is the, really the only other gauge I have for how close or not it is. I don't, uh, I didn't play the original Super Nintendo, um, or growing up or anything, so I don't really know, but the buttons feel very much the same style. Um, so if you have the Super Nintendo Classic, then you should know what to expect here. I assume it's quite similar to the original. I mean, just looking at it, these look completely identical, uh, and I'm assuming they're both supposed to be completely identical to the, the regular controller, or the re you know, the one from the actual Super Nintendo. Um, but obviously some differences. So the bottom here has now got your um, sync button and the, the LEDs to let you know what controller number it is. And then, whereas here, you just have L and R and then you have the plug going in there. Now you have your ZL and ZR buttons as well. Uh, and then your USB-C connector right there. So those are some of the, the differences. But otherwise, I mean, it, it looks and feels like a Super Nintendo controller. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is let me get this thing plugged in. And uh, do I, have, I do have a power adapter here, so let's let's get this plugged in, and I'm gonna try and connect it to the Switch, and we're gonna try it out in a Super Nintendo game um, and see how it goes. So let's get this going here. Oh, this is actually not plugged in. So let me go plug that uh, uh, power adapter in, and I'll be right back. All right, so let's. 
connect it and the LED is on. It's a little hard to see because the lights I have on, but the LED is on. And so what we should be able to do, if I grab my switch here, I will uh, dock this. Give me a second. Okay. I'm gonna go into the, not the album, the controller menu, and we are going to do change grip. I have our uh, sync button at the bottom there, which I'm trying to push, but I don't think, uh, Is it not connecting? No, I'm pushing it. I don't need the button there. Maybe it's just not charged enough to even be able to connect. Maybe that's what's going on. Because the lights are not... Oh no, they are. The lights are flashing. I just couldn't tell. Oh, there we go. Now it's connected. So, uh... Oh yeah, and it's actually fully charged too. It shows up as an SNES controller on the Switch, which is super cool. So just like the NES controllers uh, showed up on there too, this does as well. So now that I have it connected, I can actually use this to control the, uh, the switch menu there. So you can kind of watch me doing this. I'm going to jump into the SNES app. I'm going to try and zoom in. Let's turn off some of these lights here. All right. And I have my controller right here. So we're going to try and finagle this so you can sort of see both views. Um, it's going to be a little hard to focus on either one. I guess I'll focus on the switch screen. Uh, so the front will be a little bit blurry um, because it can really only focus on one or the other unless I kind of do that. Maybe I'll try and do that. Um, let's see. What's a good game? I guess I'll just do like Super Mario World, something like that, that I can just jump right into. Okay. I'm trying to keep the camera focused. It's a little hard. Okay, start. I got it. I got it. This camera does not want to focus. It keeps like losing focus when I move my hand there. Okay. Okay. So that feels good. All right, I was just testing that out. Okay. Let's jump on over here. Oops. Clearly I'm not good. I didn't say I was going to be good at this game, but just to show you that it works. What's Okay, that's run. That's right. Oops. Wow, I cannot jump for the life of me. Alright, there's Yoshi. You can't even see. I'll, I'll like try and hold it down like this. Anyways, you get the idea. I'm not going to sit here and play through a whole thing of this game. You can clearly see that it works pretty well. Um, so, to get into here, you can press ZL, ZR, and I can get out of here to my, my game selection. Uh, ZR is now the home menu button to take you out. So, there's that. Um, in case you're wondering, you know, does this controller work in other games? Let's boot up some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I'll show you, um, the answer should be yes, but the, the only thing is you're going to be limited in the fact that you don't have like the analog sticks, right? So um, there's going to be some games that may not work 
very well and other games that will work better. So we're just going to try this out. So I'm going to just jump into a quick thing of Mario Kart right here. Okay. And what else am I going to do? Uh, I don't want motion controls. I was testing out the steering wheel before. 150. Let's just jump into Mario Kart Stadium. Okay. So let's see how well this works or doesn't work with uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All right. So steering works with the D-pad. Trying to like... All right, I'll do it like this. So that way the controller's sitting on the ground and I can at least try and focus on the screen a little bit. Maybe that will work. It's gonna mean I'm not gonna be very good at this game. But, yeah, I mean, it works pretty well. I'm not going to say that this is like my preferred method of playing, you know, but uh, it works really well, as it should. And, uh, yeah. There you go. That's uh, it, it basically acts like a pro controller. Um, the only challenge is the uh, I don't have a home button to get out <laughs> on here now. Whereas the Super Nintendo app used ZR as a shortcut to get home. Now I don't have a way to get home. So I would just have to actually physically hit the home button. But it is totally doable. So anyways, um, let me turn on my lights there. And we'll move this away. So, long story short, this is the Super Nintendo controller for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I do like the fact that you do charge via USB-C. It's not that awkward connecting like with the NES Joy-Cons, so that is certainly nice. Um, and yeah, it really is what it is. I think if you like those classic games and you like the feel of the Super Nintendo controller, then, I mean, you should know exactly what you're going to get. It looks to be like a a replica of the controller and so hopefully it should feel very similarly to the original um, but there it is it is out of stock right now in the US as of the recording of this video so hopefully if you're interested uh, Nintendo will release more stock soon I think last I checked somebody said January it looked like uh, might be more available so we'll see we'll have to wait and see but anyways let me know in the comment section below what do you think hopefully you enjoyed this review Thank you all so much for watching. I do have more Switch-related videos on the way, including a new case for the Nintendo Switch Lite. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you later.